Hey guys, Seradon here, and this video will be showing you how to get Una and complete all of her storyline, including the World Tour. In particular, the World Tour part will need to be done if you're even thinking of obtaining Baal, the secret battle pet. So, let us begin. To get Una initially, it's not too hard. In fact, it drops from a rare in Antaran Wastes, and this rare is called the Many-Faced Devourer. However, to be able to see this rare, we of course need to complete a series of steps. And these steps do start in Andoran Wastes. So, let's get on over there. In a nutshell, we need to collect a scroll and three bones to summon the rare. But before we can see the bones, we first need to loot a Call of the Devourer. And this can be looted from NPCs over in the Scavenger's Boneyard. Once we have this, we can start collecting our bones. One of the bones can be found in the cave where the rare Pascula spawns, which is up in the north area of the zone. As soon as you get to the second Imp Mother pool, look on the ground because it's over here, and you will find the intact Imp bone. Click this and, well, loot the bone. The next bone you will find is over here in the scavenger's boneyard. Just over here, not quite in the bone pile near the pillar, just sitting at the bottom here. This one is the intact fiend bone. Again, loot this one. And the last bone is over here, just to the side of the altar in Collector's Hovel. This is a bigger bone, and it's the intact Urzel bone. So now we have our three bones. We can now summon our rare that can drop Una. So head over to the scavenger's bone yard once again, and over here on top of this little mound will be a bone, well, there will be a bone effigy and click on that will create it, which means you'll be creating a means of summoning the many-faced devourer. Again, click it once more to empower it, and there it will appear, and this is very easy to solo at 120. Though something to note is that Una is not a 100% drop chance. You may have to repeat this process just a few times to be able to get her. Though you may not be able to loot this guy more than once on the same character per day, does not mean that you can't log an alt and kill him too, you can also benefit off of other people's summons of him as well. Likewise, you can share your summon to help everyone out too. Okay, so after a few kills, you have gotten Una. Now our journey properly begins. So now, just summon her. That's all you have to do for the first step. Then, you need to wait exactly two minutes for her to start to get interactive with you. Hmm. After she's finished her dialogue, and once she asks why it's so dark, you need to emote a whistle to her to get her attention. Once she's finished running around trying to find you for some reason, we need to then roar at her. And, well, this will scare her away. A bit cruel, perhaps. Maybe. But then you will have to summon her back because, you, wow, you really did scare her away. So, this time, you will cry on her. And so you should. You should feel bad for scaring a little girl. But doing this will promote her to forget the whole thing even happened and then ask, why are you so sad? She will talk for a few seconds, then she will wish that she could see just a little bit better. Because it's always so dark. Well, if that's the case, let's take her to some light. And what better place to find some light than in Shatterhouse City? In the Terrace of Light. It even says it in the title. Oh, hmm. Well, it appears it's too bright in, in this case. Maybe something a little bit more duller. You will notice that she will run away again, and thus we've completed this step. So let's go and find some duller light, and, well, this light can be found over in Ashenvale, at Lake Falafim, just in this moonlight. That sounds a bit better. We can summon Una again now, and now she can see you, and now she would like to be your friend. But she does wish that her teddy was with her, so let's not upset her again. <laughs> let's find her teddy, guys. And to find this, we're going to need a couple of Goblin Glider kits. The location of her teddy is in Makari. We need to head to the north and jump on this rock so that we have a chance to reach our next destination. <laughs> oh, whoops, did you see? Uh, so in the distance there, you can see a little floating island, and we need to use a glider to get on over there. So position yourself as high as you can, and then make the leap. 
You've got to wonder what Una was doing all the way out here to lose her daddy. What was she doing? This is probably not the place for a young girl. She shouldn't be hanging around here. Though, but inside the house, you will find new. Summon Una and she will collect him. Or her. Or it. Hmm. The next step involves us equipping Una with a wand. And this wand can be found over in Blood Mist Isle. On a table in Blood Watch, you will find this magic wand. Have Una go near it, and she will suddenly go to pick it up. Now she's ready to cause havoc, but not quite yet. She still needs to be a beautiful princess. And what must every princess have? A crown. She's got to have a crown. This crown can be found in Draenor, in Shadowmoon Valley. Over here on the seat is her magic crown. Summon her again, and she will go and collect it. After these three items, she will feel so much better. Though, in exactly two minutes, again, it's all about to hit the fan. She will then get swallowed up by darkness and be gone forever. Poor Runa. But let's be a knight in shining armour, eh? And let's go save her. Firstly, as every superhero story starts, there needs to be a death. So, quite literally, kill yourself. That's it. Yeah, good job. Now we need to talk to the spirit healer to see whether they have seen Una. She has heard the cries of her, but unfortunately she doesn't know where she went. Though talking to the spirit healer, we will get a mark, allowing us to pass into the Shadow Realm. So, let's go to the Shadow Realm, and this is located over in Dragonblight. In Dragonblight, over here in the Emerald Dragonshire, you will find a skull, and in the eye of said skull will be a shadow tear. Click it, and we will be swallowed by darkness. Once you're inside, in the distance you will see Una. We found her. Yes. So, all we need to do now is cheer at her. Quite literally, slash cheer. And she will hear you and start to wonder where you are. After running around, she will say that she's cold. So... Let's do her a favour. Let's put down a campfire just to warm her up. She will like this, and then she will talk for a little bit longer, until she mentions that they're here. Oh, oh no. It's turned into a horror story. Because now at this point, you're going to be starting to see loads of soul eaters make their way over to Una. To eat her? That's pretty dark. That's dark. And we need to stop this from happening, of course. You need to ward off these soul eaters, and by doing that, and all you have to do is quite literally run into them, and they will sort of run back a few paces. You need to keep doing this until Una wraps her arms around herself and begins to cry. At this point, there will be a ton of soul eaters, but when she does begin to cry, do a slash hug on Una, and she will explode with magic. She will completely obliterate all of the soul eaters. Well, unless they bug out like that, of course. But you got to wonder, why didn't she do this to begin with? Well, stick around with Una until her dialogue has finished. Nearer to the end, she wishes she had done more. So, she does not want to walk him through to the light. Instead, she wishes to go on an adventure. With you! So let's take her on a tour. Let's take her on a world tour. There are eight locations we need to take her to in order. So, let's get started on that. The first location is over here in Eternal Blossoms, bang smack in the middle of the gate of the setting sun. Summon her and just walk around a bit until you find the right event spot, and then let her do a dialogue, and then on to the next. The second location is over in Suramar, just here in the night hold by the water fountain. Again, let her do a talking. The third location is still on the Broken Isles, but in Dalaran. Just head over to Karasa's Landing and she will be amazed at how the city is flying. The fourth location is in Dragonblight, to the west of Wimrest Temple and to the foot of the tower. The fifth is located in Nordrasil, in Mount Hyjal, right next to the lake here. 
the sixth is right here at the top of the mountain in Kunlai Summit, just over here. Yeah, make sure you don't go splat. The seventh is just here on the bridge of Black Rock Mountain. And lastly is the eighth. This is located at the Temple of Karabor in Shadow Moon Valley, Draenor. She will then go to talk a little bit more, but because you've been such a good friend to her, she does not want to go back yet. She says, I know someday I'll have to go back to Mama and Papa, but not yet. Well, of course not yet, because she still needs to tie into a load of other secrets that are out there. But as soon as she says, but not yet, you know you have completed her storyline. So now you can go and zap Bao or something else maybe in the future. You just never know. But thank you all for watching and again a big well done to the Secrets community. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. But for now, take care.